I'm talking about kingdom business. It's not for the faint hearted though. So right now we're about to shoot a scene. Um in the evening we were passing by we saw we saw this uh, place it was a bit a water a bit of water, but by the time it's evening I'm in the morning so it has turned to a dry ground overnight. I don't know maybe it's the rain or it's the dam. So what it has turned to you see all the way. All the way. Oh, this, is a, this is a major road. See? So, the man that doesn't understand this calling, you know, we give up and say, ah, I'm tired, it's stress. Of course, it is only stressful, but what can we do? And God has called you to a certain thing to do. You must prove your calling, even to passion. It doesn't have to be even things of the kingdom alone. If, but of course, if you add your passion, and then having faith or kingdom mindset, at the end of the day, it's going to become uh, it's going to become uh, something that uh, is heavenly rewarded. You know, you're going to be rewarded in heaven. It will not be like um, something that you are just doing for the passion, for the money. So that's where you know, for me, one of my biggest anchor is passion and body to transform. It's not enough to have the passion. If you have the passion for a certain thing, you do it without relenting, without getting tired. But if you have a body, it's like compulsion you know passion will keep you going you have to do it. but body is is like something weighing you down so body is heavier than passion so as a minister for whatever you do you are considering body and then if you add passion to it it's a serious thing see this, this is what has gotten to my knee see you see what i will do we still have to continue so you just pray for us this is day one and then we are on sets of trampled. This, this story is a powerful movie. You know, I'm directing, you know, sort of foundation because of Enoch Arena and Reset. And so, uh, I follow the people that build the story and then I'm directing it. But, because Satan has also seen what's going to happen. You want to stop us. You know, it's like when the children of Israel were passing through uh, from Egypt to Canaan land, you know, they encounter so much of delay or stop on the road. In fact, they got to the point of uh, Red Sea and they said, this is where we're going to end. No, we are not stopping. We are not giving up. See, see my clothes. Very good. I'm wearing the clothes today. See, see Jesus here. Yeah? And I said, Entertainment Monte. See, Entertainment Monte. So I now put E. E is entertainment. And I put Jesus banner on it. So we are taking it over. And nothing can stop us. Nothing can stop us. No demon. No power can stop us. So, I'm just, I'm just here to encourage somebody. If you, if you probably encounter some certain difficulty or stoppage or something that looks discouraging, and we are, and you are working for it, something you are working, you, have, you, don't, you cannot stop. If I saw, there's, there's, a, there's something that's talking about point of failure, you know, point of failure. Point of failure is the point where strength begins. So you, you see those that gym, you know, they, they, you, you, you are trying to build a muscle, and you get that point to a point where you cannot do it any long. So the point where you cannot do it anymore is the point you con is the point that you are supposed to continue. So if you continue at the point where you can't do it anymore, you rebuild another set of mozu that give you more strength. You know, the point where you where where you fail, where you have you have reached your maximum. You know, so there's something called equilibrium or something called uh, diminishing return. That's when you get to a point you begin to fall. But for strength, for energy, for passion, is a point where the maximum you continue, you continue doing new, new, new strength, new moves, new experience you begin to build, and from there you begin to build higher and higher, higher. You get better, and then that's when you see moves you begin to build. You, you expand beyond your elasticity. That, that you expand beyond uh, your maximum, and that's what I'm talking about. So that's where we are today. You see, the water has gone beyond my knees right now. I'm here, I'm still moving, you know, and people are still there. And people are willing to move. Brethren are willing to move. But you know, you know, you know people that are doing it for the passion alone, they say, ah, they will just give up. They will just give up on it. They say, ah, oh, we cannot do it. We are tired, though. And then, how much are you paying me? Even though I paid myself, I don't do But people here are willing to do because they know that it's actually a kingdom. We will see the car coming towards me. It's like flying boots. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> oh my god. It is where my toddler is at this point my toddler is finally wet. 
So just don't give up, continue to do it, continue to do it, and you will see that if I that sees your labor in secret, we pay. We pay in due time and it will, it will announce you on the top of the roof. You see, you see. The whole place is flooded, free to the brim. Like if you see this pillar here. See, see just look at this one here. It's filled, it's filled up. And that, that, don't, don't even try to go to that place because that devil can get to your chest. You know? Well, so cars, if we look down there, there are some cars parked there, they cannot move. And this right car parked down there. So, you know, today we went to church, I see who trekking to church with our children. You know, to the people, they look stupid. Ah, although fine, you don't have to if it's a danger. But who see, see the service of God as in uh, you, that's what, that's what Paul call it. So, this is also calling somebody, whatever you are going to, you get to difficult points, you don't have to give up, you keep doing it. That's the idea. We move, oh, soldiers of Christ. <laughs> Hallelujah.